Hey, all right, are you counting down the days till the election? I am. Um, but you know what? We vote every single day with our dollars. So I want to talk about an interesting thing that happened yesterday because I have a new driver who also has a job. So she has money to spend and go where she wants to spend it. And yesterday she announced to me that she was heading off to Starbucks. So it was a good time, I thought, for a discussion of like, do you know why dad and I might choose not to do that? Like why we wouldn't go to Starbucks? Let's just talk about this because I think these are important. And so it's being a conscious consumer is a really important value of mine. And it's something that I think is important just for people to think about whether or not it's, it's how they choose to focus their energies is, you know, your own choice. But I think just being a conscious consumer is a really good idea. So in the case of Starbucks, we were talking about, um, a few different reasons why we wouldn't choose to go there, right? When she wants to go there. So she said like the sugar and the chemicals, like for sure, but let's just talk about like black coffee, for example. Um, so it was a good opportunity to talk about like, do you know how their coffee is sourced? Because Starbucks has been linked to slave labor in the past. Um, and I think it's something that they're trying to address, but it's, an, it's a recurring issue. So I wanted her to be aware of that. Like we choose to buy coffee that's fair trade for a reason, right? Um, also the waste, you're gonna go there, they're gonna give you this drink in a plastic cup with a plastic straw. And even if you refuse a plastic straw, you still got this cup and this lid. So great to think about how to not have so much waste, right? Of course, there's the cost piece. I mean, goodness gracious. But then I'm like, okay, but if you wanna go out for coffee, let's talk about other ways to do that. Go support a local business. Um, so it was just an important conversation to have with somebody who's becoming an adult and choosing how to spend their own money. Um, and so I wanted to have this discussion here because there's a few things. I think there are just so many labels, right? It can get kind of overwhelming with all the different labels to pay attention to, but there's really one that stands out above all. So I think the labels, if you think about fair trade certified or certified organic, Leaping Bunny certified, they're all great steps, but none of them like truly encompass what I think is the heart of the matter, like um, ethical, environmental, sustainable business practices. It's really complex, right? And so each singular category uh, fails, I think, at achieving all of that. Um, so the one that I really like to focus on that I think does get to the heart of the matter is B Corp. B Corp is absolutely the strictest, hardest certification to achieve in the sustainable arena. Um, and that's why I really like to focus on that one first. Like if a company is a B Corp, it answers a lot of questions for me. And so it's an easy thing for people that are just learning to read labels or are feeling overwhelmed by how many labels there are. If you can just focus on this one, it's a great, great start. Um, so B Corps are companies that use the power of business to address social and environmental issues. They are, to be certified as a B Corp, the brand, I'm, I'm reading some notes here, but the brand has to meet these really high standards for um, social environmental performance, for social environmental accountability, and for transparency around all of this. It's actually like a legal arrangement that they have. And these companies are voluntarily choosing to step up and agree to these stricter terms to do business um, because they believe, believe that it leads to a more inclusive and sustainable economy. And that's really a goal of mine. I mean, there's a very popular fast food restaurant around here that everybody raves about and we just don't go. I have never been. Um, they have spoken against LGBTQ rights, and as an LGBTQ ally, I just don't feel okay giving my money to this business when they're counter to my goals. And now, of course, I'm not always 100% in alignment with that, but I try to as much as possible. So, B Corps, there's a growing number of them, which is exciting. Um, so there's over 3,500, I think there's 35, 3,522 companies in like 150 different industries. So, you know, I find it in food and personal care the most, but I'll be surprised sometimes when I'm 
looking in a different industry for app products and they're a B Corp. So they're in every industry and in 74 different countries. So it's really growing. What I like is that even though it's quite varied, there's one goal and that goal is modeling these ethical and sustainable business practices. Um, so a couple of my favorite, so there's a huge, there's, there's a ton of, there's a ton of, Obviously, we just talked about how many there are. There's a ton of B Corps, um, and you'll be surprised by how many there are. I'm excited that Beauty Counter is a B Corp, and I'll show you how to find this. So let's see, you see that? That's the B. They're also Leaping Bunny certified. Another cool label. This is this product I absolutely love, this vitamin C serum that I use every day. But also inside of our boxes, we have little action steps, right? Um, texting a number to change laws. It's a cool thing, but that's an example of a B Corp. In addition to that, my um, lip, my favorite lip balm is a B Corp, which I was happy to find too. So you can see that little B right there. I'm trying to point to it with my big thumbs, but in addition to a number of other labels. So you'll find the companies that are B Corps also have these other certifications, right? Because they believe in all these different things. Seventh generation. It's a cleaner that um, I use. They are also a B Corp, and, and many B Corps are small, small companies. So I really appreciate these larger companies that are having to change their structure more. Again, here's their, here's their B. Additionally, Athleta, Patagonia, Ben & Jerry's, um, Allbirds, Tom's, Clean Canteen, like those are just some examples of B corporations. So I would encourage you when you finish to go look around and see if you have products that are from B Corps. And if you if you knowingly shop B Corps, share some of your favorites in the comments below. I would love to hear it. If you're like, huh, maybe I need to change where I'm shopping a little bit. If you go to my website, emilygeiser.com, um, I have a resources page of all of like my favorite brands and products in a number of different industries. Um, many of those are B Corps, but they're certainly companies that are trying to do better in the world. All right, it is September. I hope you make it a great one. Take care.